You've probably heard the term local search before. A local search is an online search query where the user is looking for a specific type of service or a business in a, a certain geographic area. Some examples of local searches would be hairdresser Melbourne or mechanic Fremantle, something like that. Google My Business is your best friend when it comes to local search. Google My Business is a free and a powerful service that Google provides for businesses to list information and their location about their business with Google so that they will appear in local search results and so that they can be located on Google Maps. Your position in Google's local search results is also referred to your ranking um, and this is influenced by a few different factors. Specifically, according to Google, there are three main factors that influence your local search ranking. The first one is relevance, and this is the degree to which a business profile matches the search request of a user. Google decides what is relevant based on all of the information that they have available. So the more information that is present on your Google listing, the easier it will be for them to be able to determine whether you are an appropriate match. Another factor is distance. Usually when a user is doing a local search, they will enter a specific geographic location. Um, other times they might simply write near me, so hairdresser near me, instead of saying hairdresser in Melbourne. If there is no information provided about the location that the user is looking for, then Google will make an estimate based on the information that they have about the user. The last important factor is prominence. So this is how well known a business or a location is. So um, famous landmarks and famous brands and businesses will inevitably get a higher ranking based on their prominence. For example, the Sydney Opera House is going to rank higher than a small local theatre. But there are some things that small businesses can do to improve their prominence. Um, and the main one is that they can seek out more positive reviews. So the more, more social proof that a business has, the more likely they are to be perceived as a prominent business. And a part of that is responding to their online reviews. Another way that a small business can influence their prominence is to ensure that they've got good SEO and that they are trying to be as present and as talked about online as they can be. The people who are conducting these online searches will take the information that is present on a Google My Business listing as fact. Um, so it's really important that you are making sure that your Google My Business listing is up to date and the information on it is as accurate as possible. Some business types will have the opportunity to add different information. So for example, a cafe or a restaurant will have the opportunity to add their, their menu to their Google My Business listing. But there are a number of things that all businesses can do with their Google My Business listing um, to give them the best chance of ranking highly in local search results. So the first one is to claim your listing. Your business might already be listed on Google, particularly if you have a, a physical street address. So if you have a, a physical shop front, um, Google might have gone ahead and plonked your business on Google Maps, on Google listings. Um, with barely any information. They might have your phone number, your name and your street address, no imagery, no website or anything. So first, if you haven't um, engaged with Google My Business at all yet, do a quick search and see if you can find your business. Have a look on uh, google.com and also have a look at Google Maps to just cover all bases, make sure you um, don't already exist. If you do exist, then there is a process to claim your listing and there will be a button there that says, do you own this business? So click that link and follow the prompts. Next is your business name. So um, this might seem obvious, but you need to ensure that your business name is uniform everywhere that you appear online. So if your website says one thing, it's phrased slightly differently on your Google listing. And then again on Facebook, it's slightly different again. Google might not recognize that this is the same business. So this will affect your prominence in local search results. So it's really important that you are using the exact same spelling and wording of your business name everywhere. The next obviously very important one is your address. Um, again, just like with the business name, this needs to be uniform everywhere. So if on your website you have written that you are on the corner of um, Main and South Street, that is, that's not gonna communicate your exact location to 
Google very well, you need to put a numbered street address because that's what Google will use also. You can also add in your service area. So this is great for um, online businesses. Um, our business, for example, uh, we have our service area listed as all of Australia because we service businesses all across Australia. Um, so you can determine the service area that is within reach of your business. Next, of course, is your phone number, which is a pretty easy one. There's, of course, no, no hidden um, tips or tricks with this, just your phone number. Then you have hours. So this, depending on your business type, this might be your contact hours or it might be your physical opening hours. There are a couple of um, subcategories for hours. So you might have special hours for specific services, which you can also specify. Um, you can also add in uh, public holiday hours. There's a button there for that. So you can choose specific days of the year where your hours are going to be slightly different. It doesn't have to be a public holiday, but it is very handy to have this specified if someone is looking for your business on a public holiday um, and Google says, we don't know. Um, if they're going to be open or not, then um, they might not interact with you. So you need to be clear about this. Um, there will be an option for you to add your website link. Um, so there's one main field for your your primary URL. So just your the link to your um, overall web page and your homepage. And there are other opportunities where you might be able to add services links or your COVID-19 information. Um, but as long as you've got at least one, that is the most important. The more you can add, the better though. You'll have an option to include your business description. I think it's about 750 characters. Um, so a little bit of room to play with there. Making sure that you are quickly explaining what your business does, who you are, include your unique selling proposition as well. The category of your business will um, help determine the relevance of your business um, when it's a, a candidate for local search results. Uh, you can add a primary category as well as multiple subcategories. Logo, so no logo will automatically be generated. You need to upload one. Make sure that you are uploading a square image because it will be cropped into a circular shape. You also need to upload a cover photo. So this will be the main photo, or this is usually the main photo that appears on your Google My Business listing. If you don't upload one, um, then Google will just take the street view image that they have captured from your specific address, which doesn't always show your business in its best light. We also recommend that you add as many additional photos as you can. Um, we recommend at least 10. Um, and we say this because uh, your customers have the opportunity to upload their own photos, which may be great or they may not be. So as long as you've got some of your highest quality professional photos, if possible, and you are uploading those every year or so, um, updating, adding a few extras, just to make sure that you are um, consistently portraying your business um, in, its, in its best light, basically. And finally, we have posts. Um, so posts, uh, also sometimes referred to as updates, is basically the Google My Business version of a social media thread. So you can add information about your latest specials, um, new products, a link to your latest blog post. It's also really handy for unexpected closures, um, which obviously a lot of us are, are dealing with in COVID-19 and a lot of lockdowns. Um, so it's great to keep this updated with any recent news for your business. Another really important factor is your online reviews um, and your, your star rating on Google My Business. So you may feel like this is kind of out of your control, but there is a lot that you can do to actively seek more reviews and request more reviews from your customers. So have a look for the other resources on our website um, pertaining to online reputation and how you can increase the number of positive reviews that you have. Um, and when you do receive reviews, regardless of if they are positive or negative, you do need to be responding to each and every one in a unique and a thoughtful way because you are addressing not only your reviewer, but also any potential customers who have come to your reviews looking for social proof. So having a well-managed Google My Business listing is a great way to expose your business to more customers, more potential customers online. Um, have a look at a uh, our blog article to see some examples of um, an optimized Google My Business listing. So one where they've taken advantage of all the opportunities available to them and one that has um, 
that has had no additional information added to it and you can easily see the difference between the two. An easy way to stay on top of your Google My Business listing is to download the mobile app which we have linked to in our blog article as well.